Good morning, my gorgeous Leos. Welcome to Lucky Scorpion. I hope you're having a fabulous week. I already cleansed and meditated on your cards. And oh boy, do they look interesting. Um, <laughs> if you like what you hear and see, please subscribe. It's free. And if you want to show that you care, please like and share. I am truly grateful. Ooh, well, yeah. Oh, a flyer. Ooh, look at that. She's coming up in your own read. Leo, Sag, Aries. We're clarifying the devil in your personal energy. Okay, so there is a, with the devil, there is some kind of uh, obsession, lusting. Maybe you are overindulging in something just a little bit too much. This could be food, drugs, alcohol, smoking, um, bad food, not enough sleep. Okay, this could be somebody that you desire and have been watching. <laughs> and wanting for quite some time now. Um, take it how it resonates. It's not going to resonate for all my Leos, but for some of my Leos, this is in your general energy, and this is what you're going through. All right, you came up in your own reading, so there might be a little bit of, don't get mad at me, egotistical thoughts, feelings, behavior, okay? Um, that's just how I resonate with it. That's what I'm getting. Um, but yeah, then we have the Page of Cups and the High Priestess, which tells me that you know an, a really exciting message is going to come on in, okay? This could be about love, finances. You are going to get a, fo a phone call, text, <laughs> email, some kind of exciting message, maybe an invitation to go to a party, a celebration of some sort. Now, with it clarifying the devil, um, I'm just going to say be careful not to overindulge in the things you know you're not supposed to. Um, or, you know, maybe perhaps you are so excited because this person you're thinking about, um, obsessing about, <laughs> lusting, is going to give you this invitation and you just have this intuitive feeling that is coming. Hmm? Let's dig a little deeper nevertheless. Yeah, see, three cup celebration. I, you see, this is just a shortcut to channeling faster. Ooh, there's a tower and just as there's a tower and the two of cups. So it's like at this celebration, you could rekindle something with someone from your past. Mm -hmm. Reconnection there. There's a tower moment. Shock, surprise. For me, the tower is shock, surprise. It's either good or bad. In this certain situation for you, Leo, I feel like this is a good, I feel like this is a very good, um, tower. I feel like it's a happy tower. I'm just, I'm feeling happy. Okay. Um, maybe your person is going to say they want to reconnect with you from your past or vice versa. Maybe you're building up the courage. Once you see them, you're shocked and you kind of let go, but you still have feelings for them or you still want them or you miss them. There's some kind of happy message here that's going to kind of shock you. Okay. I have the Page of Cups for my Leo Sag. Oh, no, Leo. Leo, but you could have Sag Aries in your placements. <laughs> Ooh, the Emperor. I'm left out in the cold. Okay, so there's different scenarios here for my Leos. Mm-hmm. There could be a happy message coming from a father figure. Uh, there could be a happy message from a child if you're a father. 
Um, there is someone feeling left out in the cold about a truth, uh, communication of some sort. Hmm. Yeah, there's some kind of communication coming in about feeling left out in the cold, feeling, uh, you know, in the dark about a certain situation or something. Perhaps you wanted to keep something secret from your child or your father. Again, depending on the Leo, you know. Um, for some, it's a child, and for others, it is a father or father figure. Okay, so there might be some communication about that, this person feeling left out, feeling, um, you know, having possible money issues. Um, they might need to ask to borrow some money. Their financial might not be the greatest right now. And, uh, yeah, I feel like this person tried to hide this from you, Leo, uh, out of, you know, embarrassment or, you know, wanting to be so independent if they were a child. And, um, yeah. So it might be that you are excited that they finally came to you and told you what you already know, that they needed help. Okay, why the High Priestess? Hmm. Yeah, there's something coming in quickly, a wish fulfillment. And you, again, you can feel it. It's something that was delayed, it, it, it disappointed you, but now it is coming in quick. So whatever was delayed, and that made you feel like disappointed is now coming in fast with the knight of swords and uh, either this provokes some kind of healing um, or it is like a wish fulfillment something you've been waiting for desiring for quite some time now Leo Okay, so we're gonna, that's your, what's in your, most in your personal energy. We are going to go to the house of love, the position of love in this reading. And in the position of love, we have the empress. Try to make it so you can see all the cards because, you know, when I watch other readers, I love looking at the cards. I love seeing, like, what is what, you know? Yeah. I've got to get a better angle on this so that you can see the cards and everything. Maybe even less of me and more of the cards. Please comment down below, like, if you would rather see the cards more. Okay. Uh, okay. The Empress in love. Let's clarify that. Ooh, the Emperor. Someone, the well, same cards keep coming up. So no matter how much I shuffle. Um, death at the bottom of the cup. You could be interested in the Scorpio. Yeah, you could be. Uh, Scorpio could be the mother of your child. Oh, if you don't have any children, this Scorpio could be a mother to you. With the Empress and the Emperor. Um, nevertheless, there's the Emperor and the Empress. So this, is, this signifies Twin Flame to me in love. But I feel like Twin Flame and separation. You may be separated from your twin flame right now, Leo. And um, feeling left out in the cold, you know, feeling not connected to them, feeling cut off. You can feel their energy depleting from you, moving away from you. And uh, it's kind of like you're facing the truth, you know. You might communicate this. They might communicate this to you. Uh, for some of my Leos where this is your mom, you're feeling left out. You're feeling, 
left out in the cold, in the dark about something. You might feel like your mom is keeping something from you, uh, or mother or mother figure. This is a very nurturing feminine energy with the empress. Okay. Um, so it could be an auntie. It could be a grandma. It could be your mother. Um, so, yeah, it's like feeling left out in the cold and getting some kind of clarification. So, some kind of communication, clarification, some kind of truth coming out here. Maybe as to why you've been left out in the cold about something. Or have been, something's been kept from you. What else do we have in love? For some of my Leos, you very strongly want to start a family and have children. And you are ready. You would make an, an amazing father. Um, you have it all planned out. And you want to take that leap of faith. However, it takes two, right? It seems like your partner is kind of stringing you along, saying yes, they want the same things when in fact they don't. I'm so sorry, Leo, but um, what's my card. this is what my cards show. For the Three of Pentacles here, it's like the work has to be put in. The work for reward, you know? And um, I feel like you're doing all the work, Leo. Like you are doing, you, you know, you're getting your, all your ducks in the row, doing everything you want to do to start and begin this family. But you're just not seeing the reciprocation from your partner. You know, you're not seeing the enthusiasm, the rush, the, the feeling of like, okay, let's, let's do this, the excitement, you know? And I'm really so sorry, Leo, because here with the King of Cups, you are very nurturing. You're very, um, you're a great provider. There is no, there's absolutely no reason why your partner shouldn't want to have start a family with you and have children um they're just not putting in the work the effort they're just not <clears throat> on board here and i'm so sorry about that let's try to find out why why is leo's oh say you already know yeah your instincts your intuition is already telling you that it's because they're so fearful of having starting a family um, but sweetie, let me tell you that the fear I'm seeing here about starting a family and having children, it's nothing to do with you, but also you can't change it. Your partner is going through, is carrying a lot of baggage from their childhood, their past. I hate to say that, but like they need to heal that. This is not even going to be a thought in their mind until they tackle what is stopping them. What is making them fear this family dynamic and ch children and having children with you. It may be making you feel down, depressed, sad, possibly even like wanting to give up on this relationship. But it's, it's not you. It really is them. And... Um, they have to face their fears. I mean, look at them here. They're just, you know, they 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 can free themselves, but they choose not to. They choose to stay in that um, fearful anxiety, like stay in that that feeling, instead of actually healing, doing something about it. And, you know, just to be a little bit more blunt with the Ace of Wands there, they may be like shunning away from intimacy, uh, intercourse, always having an excuse. This is not because they're not attracted to you, Leo. You're passionately fiery and you're just romantic and amazing in, in, in so many ways. The reason why they're shunning you is because they do not want to even think about having a child. 
because that would have to make them heal their past, their childhood traumas. And they're just not ready for that. I'm so sorry, Leo. Okay, let's move on for work, career, finances. Money, as my good friend would say. I'm making the potatoes. Ooh. Divinely guided connection here in business. Yeah. It's saying right now there's some mental physical strain either at work or from work or because of, you know, all of the work that you've been doing. Uh, you could be burning the candle at both ends, not getting a lot of sleep, not getting a lot of rest. Be careful, my Leos. There could be an injury at work. If it, if it hasn't already happened, it could happen in the next couple of days. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but this is what I've seen with the Four of Swords before. You know, so be very extra careful. Be very, you know, on your P's and Q's because they're... Yeah, there's some kind of injury here at work. And this could really put you back. It's like you're working so hard to accumulate uh, enough money to, you know, pay the bills plus get gifts, the holidays coming up. And there is some strain here. For some of my Leos, it's it's the stress, it's the mental stress. For others of my Leo, it's it's literally a physical injury here from just not sleeping enough and trying to work so hard and you know yeah just please be very careful leo um there's also like this determination there's just so much determination here um to get the job done quicker and faster and sufficient and you know and maybe that is what leads to this physical strain here is that you're just trying to rush and get everything done in time okay why the four of wands this is what's got me going yeah patience healing mm. you could possibly have a disagreement uh, with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo male or female at work um, about finances but um, I do not know where these little white fluffies keep coming from. Like it's driving me, my OCD is kicking in. <laughs> oh, but um, yeah. So there is some kinds of now. This could be like some kind of disagreement or argument, but it also could be that you're competing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo at work. Okay, um, very competitive. So it might be like you know, it, it's it doesn't have to be anything bad. It could be just like. You know, let me do this. Let's let's see who can do this job faster or uh, more accurate. Or you know, how many of these things can we do in one day? Or you know, it's like it's like this feeling. Also, it also I see for some of my lawyers, <laughs> Leos, um, there is some some patience needed with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn sign that you work with, employee. A uh, co-worker, you know, uh, possibly boss or employee of yours. So, yeah, there's definitely some needing a 